Libertarian Party presidential and vice presidential candidates Gary Johnson and Bill Weld, who are at about 10% in national polls, participated in a CNN-hosted town hall Wednesday that introduced them to a national audience that's barely heard of them. In a year when the electorate dislikes the major candidates more than ever in history, they had what might have been a historic opportunity. So, how did they do? We are here to tell you in three minutes. First, they explained what a libertarian is. In broad brushstrokes, fiscally conservative, socially accepting, tolerant. Look, people should be able to make choices in their own lives, always come down on the side of choice. Then they played a very strange game at the past of CNN. Do some word association here. I'll say the name, you hit me with the first thing that comes to mind. And tripped over themselves to be nice to Hillary Clinton and President Obama before attacking Trump. President Barack Obama. A uh, good, good guy. Hillary Clinton. Old friend, nice kid, knew her in her 20s. We shared an office on the Nixon impeachment. Real bond, lifelong. Seriously, not kidding. Donald Trump, one word. Huckster. <laughs> when asked about gun control, former prosecutor Bill Weld turned the discussion towards a task force he put together to treat ISIS like it's the mafia. With a thousand person FBI task force treating <coughs> ISIS as a gigantic organized crime family, which is exactly what it is. Johnson gave a defense of free market health care. If we could bring genuine competition uh, to uh, health care, uh, health care would be one fifth the cost of what it is right now. A non interventionist foreign policy. We don't want to get involved in other countries' affairs. We think that the interventions that have gone on have resulted in a less safe world, not a more safe world. Abortion rights. That's a decision that should lie strictly with the woman involved. And then confirmed that he believes in some sort of God, but isn't all that into organized religion. The God that, uh, that I speak to uh, is not, uh, doesn't have a particular religion. Bill Well doubled down on an Anne Frank analogy to attack Trump. The rounding up and deportation of 11 million people. I mean, that's a lot of people, and that's going to engender a lot of fear. And Frank uh, hiding in the attic, hoping no noise will alert the Nazis below. Speaking of Weld, Johnson really, really loves his VP. Bill Weld, uh, being my running mate, is beyond my wildest uh, expectation. I hope, please. I hope it's obvious. Look, we're, we're proposing to do this as a team. We're not going to have separate staffs. Mitt Romney said, I would have wanted to see the ticket flipped. He said, I would have wanted to see Weld on top, not to create any internecine strife. None, your none whatsoever. Uh, there was the inevitable, what if heroin were legal question. Please explain to me how you think that legalizing marijuana straight through to heroin can possibly be a harm reduction forum. I hate to say it, but it's, it's prohibition. It's quality, quantity, unknown that kills people. And Johnson ended it all with a big middle finger to the two-party system. If it were to come to bear fruit that you saw that you were hurting Clinton or you were hurting Trump and that that was your role in this election, how'd you feel about that? I'd feel just fine. I do believe that uh, we've got the, the two-party system is a two-party dinosaur and that they're about to come in contact with the comet here. So that's the alternative vision the Libertarian Party has to offer this election. Now back to your regularly scheduled political programming. In the midst of the most toxic campaign ever, as chanting Democrats the shout down Speaker June Paul Ryan. 2016, the unfinished business is further consideration of the veto message of the president on House Joint Resolution 88. The clerk.